Rock Band 3 is uh, a, the new version of Rock Band. We've been working on it for two years. It's got uh, more innovations than the music game universe has seen. From, from the inside perspective, you know, you know, we play all these games. We play, you know, we play a lot of games. Um, and we saw kind of a staleness in terms of gameplay innovation. And so, you know, really the, the main focus of Rock Band 3 development was on finding new ways to experience the music and, and actually, you know, doubling down, if you will, on kind of an investment in compelling gameplay. You know the For Rock Band 3, we actually did gameplay improvements for the basic instruments that everybody already has, um, and then we added this whole new uh, Rock Band Pro experience. And some of the some of the experience that we have for the old instruments are we brought over like vocal harmonies. We added new expert feature gameplay for uh, guitars, such as trills and the ability to uh, revamp our scoring system and how do you can score extra parts when you're playing solo and when you're playing in bands. But the main focus in terms of the new gameplay is on the new instrument, the keyboard, and uh, in terms of the uh, Rock Band Pro on drums, Rock Band Pro on keys, and Rock Band Pro on uh, guitar. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is a, a prototype, an early prototype of the, uh, of the keyboard that you can use. It's uh, got information on the top that we use to help you channel where you're going to put your hands without looking down. Um, and you got the ability to do all kinds of interesting things with the touch strip and with the button to activate overdrive. Um, you can play it uh, standing up or sitting down. It's pretty cool. You know, we're really trying to draw the player in and, and allow them kind of the opportunity to develop skills. And, and then if you bump up to hard, you'll see that actually now we're, we're expanding the range that the player has to actually play in. Uh, the track will start to shift from left to right to include some of the, the space that they need to, you know, that we need to show on screen. And at this point, you're getting very close to just playing the keyboard part for this song. A lot of our features and a lot of the stuff we've designed uh, for Rock Band 3 has been based around uh, solving uh, things that people uh, have had issues with in Rock Band 2, emphasizing the things that people really enjoyed in Rock Band 2, and building really new, awesome, innovative modes that people haven't seen before. So one of these things uh, is what we're calling internally the overshell. And what this is, is uh, a way for players to drop in and out uh, at any time of the game. They could be playing gameplay, they could be in any of the modes, uh, they don't have to go to a matchmaking screen anymore to, to sort of add their instruments. I can go and get a drink and sort of drop out of the game and come back in again, which is really cool. We're very sensitive to the idea that players have made investments, both with respect to hardware and also downloadable content.